Hello one and all, welcome to Seeing Through Glass. It is the last day of Car Week, which makes me incredibly sad. However, it is the main show. It is the Pebble Beach Concourse de Elegance. Uh, I have no idea really what to expect. I've seen some photos. Some guys have sent me some images of what's in there today. I think it is mainly made up of rare classics, but there is also a concept lawn from uh, manufacturers. So I'm really excited just to get in and check it out. However, as always, any major car event, we're in a car park, so let's go see what the car park has to offer. Right, enough of that. Time to find our shuttle bus and head on in to what is supposed to be a crazy and I think very busy event. First thing I've come across is the sort of concept lawn as we walk down into the event. Now it's not all concepts, it's just some other modern sports cars as well, but as you can probably see behind me, there are tons of people. So it's very hard to get close to the cars, I'll get you guys any good shots. Like any big car event, there are lots of people looking at the cars as well, so me and my little camera being like, excuse me, just want a clean shot, doesn't quite work. Anyway, let's go on a quick look around and show you some of the insane concepts they've got lined up on the lawn. So this is the Mercedes Maybach 6 concept, which is just one of the craziest looking things I've ever seen. It's about 20 foot long. The front of it looks like a double-decker bus, and I've just literally had a look on my phone there for some of the stats they're claiming. It's got four-wheel drive thanks to four electric motors, capable of 738 brake horsepower. <laughs> it's ridiculous. They're saying that it's 0 to 60 under four seconds in a car that is literally the size of a bridge. Right next to it we have the Rimac, which is obviously the car that Archie raced in the video with the LaFerrari. It's much smaller than I thought it was. It looks tiny here, but anyway, yeah, of course it in the flesh. And then, uh, the Zagato Vanquish. <gasps> I love it. After the melee of the concept lawn, I've now come down to the seaside, which is where the main Concours de la takes place. I'm quite late, it's about 1pm, a lot of people have been here since about 7am, so I'm just going to dive in and see what I've missed. Now, I've always been pretty open and honest about the fact that classic cars is not an area that I'm that knowledgeable about. So there are a lot of cars today that I unfortunately just don't know what they are. However, an event like this, you are literally looking at the best of the best from a whole load of eras. Pebble Beach, Congo de la Grande, is obviously one of the highest, uh, highest, most reputable, let's go with that. Uh, concourses around the world. It's the one that all these collectors really want to come to and really want to win. So you are literally looking at these most incredible examples of some of the earliest cars that were made. So early Bugattis, early Mercedes, Adela Hayes, all of these different things. So it is easy to appreciate what's going on, but as I say, unfortunately, my knowledge is lacking. So I may miss a whole lot of cars that you might know are here. I apologize for that. I'm just walking around trying to take it all in and showing you the cars that catch my eye. And I'm going to keep going because there are thousands of cars and millions of people. It's very hard to get shot and bust my way through the crowds, but it's such a nice place to be. And hopefully this is giving you an insight into a highly prestigious, there we go, oh, event.
Now what is very cool is that this Delahaye, which is a 235 MS, was actually worked on by Dove Customs. Yeah! So the guys who wrapped the Jag, put the wing on the Jag, done so much work on Seen Through Glass and Supercars London, Shmi 150, etc. Worked on this car right here, which is on display. Absolutely awesome. I've got to be honest guys, I am really struggling with tiredness today. It is such a nice event that it's so relaxing, everyone's just sitting down, drinking, eating, and I woke up and I was so tired, that's why I got here so late. And now everyone's like, come sit, eat, drink, and I can't get back up. But I guess that's a testament to how nice this event is. Um, but yeah, I need to somehow force myself into a bit more motivation to capture a bit more of what's going on. We're going to head over to the main stage now because as a concourse they do, uh, they show off the cars that won prizes. So let's go and see if I can show you some of those. I think the cars provided <laughs> plenty of motivation. Holy crap, that Ferrari P4 is unbelievable. Driven by Jackie Stewart, even cooler, Sir Jackie Stewart. It just looked amazing, even just cruising around on a golf course. One of my favorite, and one of the most iconic Ferraris of all time. I think, is that the last original one left? There were four, um, but I feel like two of them were converted into other cars, and I think one of them crashed, anyway. Amazing to see in either case. I'm out of breath because, as usual, I'm running back to my car. I'm having to leave a little bit early. I could have stuck around, but I got to edit because I need to upload this video tonight before a 5 a.m. start tomorrow for my next adventure. Because, yeah, car week's over. What an amazing week it has been. I'm so glad you guys have been enjoying all the videos that I've been making because I have loved every single video I've made. The opportunities out here have been incredible. The spotting, the events, the people I've been able to meet. It has been so, so much fun and has got me so excited about my LA trip, which starts the middle of September. I can now confirm the date I'm going to LA. It's the 24th of September, so the countdown has begun. From here, I go and do a couple more days work in America. Then I'm going to be headed to San Francisco a few, for a few down days where I am planning to make some more videos. Then a couple more days work at the weekend and then I'm back to the UK. So more videos still to come from America. There will be a couple of off days. I can't guarantee that the madness that is car week continues all over the US. I'm pretty sure it's specific to this week and this area. But yeah, it's been so much fun and today really felt like the perfect ending to this week. It was such a nice refined uh, upscale event, but also just had the best of the best of really the sort of more classic historic cars, which are so nice to be around. It's just, as I say, I, I admitted earlier, you know, I'm not that knowledgeable, but it's still so enjoyable to spend time around such incredible, rare and special cars. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, but specifically the whole Car Week content. I've created a playlist, so if you've missed any videos, you can click, go back and watch them all. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I will be back with you in a couple of days, so make sure you're subscribed for the videos coming from San Francisco. Today at Car Week, I'm headed to Laguna Seca Raceway. Oh my God, shave my head and call me Susan. There's only a bloody laugh here as well. Yeah.